Good morning everybody. Welcome in the YouTube channel RPH Vishnu Sir. Today I am going to describe regarding the quality risk management QRM. What is risk? Simply, is a risk is a undesirable outcome or existence of its potential. A risk is defined in according to the ICS guidance also probability of occurrence of harm or it means undesired effect and severity of that harm is known as a risk. QRM is established in the, under the ICS Q9 quality in Q9 guidelines in 2005 and it is hardly put in the practice with full understanding by pharma industry at large. Nowadays, it is necessary to risk-based approach embedded in the quality management system. In quality risk management model, so long as the risk factor have been identified to mitigate or reduce the risk. Nowadays, all SOPs need to be developed with risk-based approach and inspection performed with the risk-based approach also. What is quality risk management? Quality risk management is simply known as one of the process that includes detection, evaluation, communication, and elimination means mitigation of risks involved in the manufacturing of the drug substances or finished products. Here are the main principles to mitigate the quality problem. In effect, quality risk management approach is to, to conduct regular QRM exercise across the company to make an action plan for CAFA. CAFA means corrective action and preventive action and execute it on time. Principle of quality risk management simply is divided into the two parts. The evaluation of the risk to quality should be based on the scientific knowledge and ultimately linked to the protection of the patient and the level of effort, formality and documentation of the quality risk management process should be commensurate with the level of risk. Now here <coughs> I am describing you regarding the how to do the quality QRM methodology. <coughs> QRM methodology simply I have given here failure mode effective effects analysis should be considered and RPN means risk priority number that should be given to the methodology to the calculation. Yes means severity, O means occurrence, D means detection. So we have given here the to calculate the risk by the SOT. The output of risk measured in two ways quantitatively and qualitatively. In quantitatively, we have given the numerical value. And qualitatively, we have given the three critical groups that is known as critical, major, and minor. These things we have given, and we have compiled these two things in the risk management. Here, rating we have given if the minor scene means we have given one, major means three, and critical means five. Everybody should give the 135, it is not necessary. You can give your according to your how you are going to make the risk management. This is for only the quantitatively analysis of the QRM. As per the failure mode effect analysis, risk ranking system and their management is defined as follow. So we have made here some qualitative ranking. We have already described critical, major, and minor. Severity means impact of the event is severe means it will be the critical. Impact of the event is moderate means it will be the major. Impact of the event is low means it will be the minor. Here occurrence means often daily it's upon a occur means it will be the critical. Major it can be periodic. In minor seldom or very clear. Now we are going to discuss regarding detection. Failure will almost escape detection means it will be the critical and when will it will be measurements control may detect the existence of process failure minor the process failure is obvious and readily detected so we have given already the numerical value quantitatively how we can 
edge of the data if severity means here 5 and occurrence also it will be 5 and details also 5 means it will be the calculation 125 that is quantitatively and here impact also 3 medium and periodic also 3 and detection also 3 what will it, it will the calculation will be the 27 if impact is very low one and occurrence also very low one and detection also very low means one what will happen means here the numerical value will come one so in if it will be the critical immediate action should be required if it will be the major moderate action required as per the recommendation of qrm activity if it is a minor then no action required system in control it will be risk acceptance criteria how we are given here <coughs> here if the critical means 51 to 125 the value will come it will be the critical 26 to 50 it will be the major up to 25 we are given here the minor this is the risk calculation we have made you can change the different numerical value you can keep the different numerical value no need of the, the same what we are keeping you can also keep no not like that you can keep the different value also risk assessment and management for operation of the raw material here we are, have given the some example of this how this we are going means operation of raw materials store Failure mid means opening and closing activity of raw materials store not evident. What will happen? Unauthorized access will be entered into the means effect of failure and integrity of materials at risk. Here the severity of the chances will be the five. It will be the maximum chances of the failure mode. Again, and cause of failure system and procedure not in place for its management. They are not operating the system in the proper way. So, occurrence also will be the 5. Process control means SOP and system to be developed and implemented. Restricted access of authorized personnel to be implemented. We cannot give, we should not give the unauthorized person to enter. So, detection easily we can detect. So, that we have given here 1. The RPN means we have uh, multiply risk priority number, severity, occurrence, and detection. What will be the value? Welcome 25. Here, according to the initial data, it will come the risk experience minor because of the RPN have come 25, so we have kept it the minor. So, recommended solution biometric system to be implemented to enter in the raw material store and responsibility, responsibility RM stores, QA, and management are the responsibility for this risk. Risk assessment and management for receiving and storing of raw material. What are maybe the risks of the storing, receiving and storing of raw material? Container breakage during unloading. What will happen then? Uh, effect of failure, contamination will be happen, and loss, accident, and injury may be happen. And if the severity may be chances of only three, it means the major, not a critical we have kept here. What may be the cause of failure? Manual unloading, online receiving bay, and no lifting devices are there. So, occurrence chances is one. Careful and proper unloading should we should do, and detection value also the simply one. So, risk priority number have come here three into one into one means three. Risk acceptance minor. Risk is a mitigated through the mention process control procedure hence the identifier risk is very less responsibilities are restored so like this i have described all this and you can pause the video and observe this one what are the failure mode maybe in the receiving and storing of the raw material level of container and certificate of analysis coa not matching as well as physical quantity not matching with the po and the back size of incoming material Segregated area for the under test, past, expired, rejected, special storage product as well as the active and exhibit. Like this, the risk may be the came under the failure mode are there. And more, these are improper labeling of the raw materials, quarantine, release under test are the improper labeling. It will also the one of the failure mode. Inappropriate storage of flammable, flammable and volatile solvents. 
it will ask condition doesn't comply according to the GMP if it not complies means what will happen and these are the failure mode you can pause the video and watch in details raw material expire and doesn't comply the specification also the failure mode the reconciliation of raw material stock not done improper and uncontrolled storage of narcotic api are some of the leaks of the receiving and storing of raw material in third risk assessment and management for dispensing of raw material what will happen in the dispensing of raw what may be the risks occur means dispensing of material without verification we cannot do this one incorrect reading on balance also can miss the dispensing of raw material obviously it will the cause of failure mode and incorrect data during dispensing and dispensing of light sensitive material without any compliance uh, the light sensitive material should be cannot be dispensed the simple way another failure mode are specialized sweets and not used powder splays dispensing in original pack dispensing a batch of a product of two different strength at the same time dispensing of two batches of the product of similar strength at the same time are the failure mode which uh, describe here and you can post the video in watch video in the details a risk assessment and management for the sampling of raw material what happened the sampling of the raw material uh, example are governing procedure not followed balance calibration not done and inappropriate labeling what will happen the governing procedure not followed means cross contamination contaminate cross contamination and contaminate the sample also so the health hazard to workmen or employee it will be the health hazard and the severity the chances is the five it is the critical so we have given here the five uh, cause of failure means unavailability of the gowns and SOP not followed by the employee or the person occurrence of chances is it is very clear so we have given here the minor occurrence is the one gown to be made available in place process control should be there and SOP compliance should be followed by the personal or the employee detected easily you can detect this the things some one so here risk priority number severity occurrence and detection is given as a five so risk security minor here recommended solutions are SOP for entry exit in RM store and governing procedure Resampling shall be done. Responsibility are the QA and raw material store. Risk assessment and management for sampling of raw material. Same things we have discussed here. You can pause the video and watch in detail. Material from unapproved vendor are the failure mode for the sampling of raw material. And sampling both doesn't operate efficiently. Sampling plan and the procedure are not there. Separate both for the active, inactive, and the solvent also should be available. Conclusion and recommendation It is concluded that advocate control measures are in place to reduce the risk associated with the failure mode. Risk priority number, RP, and values are calculated at each procedural step and are well within the acceptable limit. Recommended solutions are implemented further to lower down the RPN, hence it is concluded that the risk assessment of existing facility is accepted. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, share, subscribe and comment on video. The same boiling water that softens the potato and hardens the egg. It's what you are made of, not the circumstance. Thank you very much.